And now lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life, he'll live forever. Whatever the tree of life was, Brenda, if he got back to it, he would live forever. Verse 23, Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man. He placed at the end of the Garden of Eden cherubims, that's angels, and a flaming sword which turned every way to help or to keep the way of the tree of life, to keep them from getting back to the tree of life. Now I don't think this is far-fetched because you're here and I'm here and you're watching me on TV or listening to me on the radio, and somebody put us here. God made us and put us here. I don't know where everybody talks about this as being an apple. Ain't nobody knows what it was. Don't know what they done or whatever, but they done something God didn't want them to do. Now then, I want us to go to Genesis chapter 16, and I, I jumped ahead a little bit. God had told Abraham about how Abram was his name then, about, and Sarah was not named Sarah, it was Sarai. And uh, he told them that they was going to have a child. He was going to give them a son. 16 in verse 1, and I know I'm a hurrying here, but, but I need to. Now Sarai, Abraham, Abram's wife, bare him no children. And she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold, now the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. In other words, I can't have a child. And I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. In other words, Abraham listened to his wife. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her handmaid, or maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife, and he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And we'll stop on that part, but she seen that things wasn't right about that. But she already tried to help God out after God promised to give him a son. So that wasn't faith, the faith that it was talking about over here about Abraham and James too, was it? Amen? Now, let's go down to verse 15 and 16 in the 16th chapter. And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael, called his name Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore and six year old. He's 86 year old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. Pretty old then, wasn't he? Now, let's start at verse 17. And when Abram was 90 year old, and nine, he was 99 year old then, now on to 100, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant. Everybody say covenant. I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold my covenant. Now I want to share something. I want to stop right here, because the Lord's kept reminding me of this. I don't want nobody to choke on this. Swallow it. If you can, if you can't, you'll have to have some milk to drink with it. <laughs> but don't choke on it. God's dealt me with that all evening. Now he started with me again. Don't choke on it. Because this principle right here is the only way that we know of that God was able to get his son into the world. Adam gave the bill of sales of his dominion over to the devil. God had to get a man that would be willing to do the same thing for him that he wanted to do for mankind so that he could get his son back into the world. He had to find a man that would be willing to give his son so that he, in turn, could give us his son. That's why Abraham is called the father of faithful. That's why he's called a friend of God. That's why he's esteemed so high all the way through the Bible. 
It wasn't because that he didn't do no wrong or didn't do this. It was because he acted on the faith that God gave him by willing to offer up his son. Now this is good. Swallow it if you can. Amen? Don't get choked on it. And Hagar bear, let's see, where was that? And I will make, verse 2, chapter 17, verse 2, and I will make a covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked to him, saying, As for me, behold my covenant. God said, in other words, For me now, old boy, Abraham, as for me, my side of this. He said, As for me, 